So I'm not really sure what happened, but I accidentally deleted a clip, but it was me opening up the video, so welcome to my channel. I was just discussing what happened when I went to the cardiologist today and saying how I would update you guys and show you the heart monitor they had put on me during this appointment and how I have to get an echo because my EKG I took at the doctor was not good. I don't know what happened to that clip, but here is the opening, and then now it's going to go into me talking about why I didn't update you as soon as I got home. Hello, I look pale. Do I look pale? Ooh, I look like a lot of things. So it's been a long time. I did not update you guys when I got home because several things happened. One, I did not forget. So one thing that happened is when I got home, my mom said, we're going to Roosters. So I came home and got ready for that. And then I had to tell my mom a story because on my way home from the cardiologist, something annoying happened, and I have to share a story, so if you don't want to hear a story, then... <gasps> if you don't want to hear a story, <clears throat> then you have to listen. On my way home from the doctor, I was at an intersection. So I was at an intersection, and it's like a, a big intersection, so there's like several lanes, like four, five, like there's like the right, like the left turn lane, and then like the three straight lanes, and then the right turn lane. So I'm like in the first straight lane so there's like three lanes next to me all of this extra detailing is necessary just listen so there's this big huge truck like with this long bed it was a nice truck was in front like the very first car in the line of like the far right lane and there was this little itty bitty white car behind it and you ever like pull up next to somebody on the road and it looks like they're move moving backwards but really it's because you're moving it's like this really weird like illusion well that's what I thought was happening, but I realized, no, their truck was moving. And I'm just listening to my music, vibing in the car. I'm like, that truck is rolling backwards. I mean, it's a truck. It has that long bed on it, so it's going to hit the car behind it. I'm like, they're going to hit that car. And the car is laying on the horn, like laying on the horn. Like everybody there, and it, this is about exactly 5 o'clock. And so it's rush hour. Everybody's out. Like this is a very busy intersection. There's a lot going on. And I'm super far from it, but like right in the perfect angle to see everything. What really made me mad about this situation is I watched the whole thing happen and I wasn't able to be a witness to it because there was just so much going on. Everything was just horrible. I was trying to get over to the man to help him because I'm going to get to the rest of the story in a minute, but I have ADHD, so I'm trying to tell the story reverse. But I wanted to get back to help the man because these people were ganging up on him but there was just so much going on. There's so much traffic. There's nowhere to turn around because it's in the middle of like a lot of things. And anyway, the truck rolled back and hit the little car and the guy goes to get out of the car and these two real young girls get out. Uh, they're probably like my age, but I feel like I look really young for my age. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I just like, I don't know. Anyway, the point is the girls get out of the car and they're like, what's the matter? What's going on? They're like, have an attitude with him. And I'm like, oh, hold on. I have this. Thankfully, like I had a green light, but I had like 16 cars ahead of me and it's rush hour. So I'm, when you're at a green light and you're turning, you got to wait for the other traffic to go. And it's like, I'm waiting, but I'm like, man, I wish we had around one time in my life. I wish there was a red light. Cause I wanted to like watch this play out. They literally were trying to blame him. They were like, well, we were at a, I had my window down and I didn't hear what he was saying. It was just an old man. And they were like, well, we were at a complete stop. So how did we hit you? And I'm like, because you did. Because literally your truck rolled back and hit his car. I like, I watched the whole thing. I wanted to be a witness so bad because it's just old man being ganged up, up, ganged up on by two girls trying to pretend like they didn't just hit him. And it's like, you could have got out of the car and like, oh my gosh, like, did we hit you or did you hit us? Like, ask first before you just get out and gang up on some old man. Like, that pissed me off. And it might have just frustrated me more because I work with old people every day. Like, I work in a nursing home, essentially. So, that made me mad because people take advantage of old people every day. And that frustrated me. I feel like they, they sat in the truck for a minute before they got out. And I don't know if they didn't realize what they were doing or what the heck they were doing before they got out. But he's out of the car waiting for them. Like, what the heck? And then they get out of the car like, what the heck, to him. And I'm like, no, you guys did that. That's my rant for the day. I was so irritated. It still has, it has bothered me all day. Like, it has literally bothered me all day. And the truck didn't hit him that hard. I don't even think there probably was any damage to his car. But 
still I really feel like a really bad citizen that I didn't turn around I tried everything I could I was already running out of gas I was gonna turn into the gas station but the entrance to the gas station was blocked like miles from for freaking traffic and I'm like where am I gonna turn around and go help this man like it's in the middle of an intersection I don't even wanna in the middle of rush hour I'm making excuses I should have just went and helped the guy but it was a lot going on but that's why I came home and I was irritated and I just did not feel like filming but I was gonna show you guys my new little piece of jewelry so I told you guys I got the monitor on my heart to see if I have an arrhythmia so it's right here it's just this little sticker and anytime I'm feeling symptoms I just press this button and I don't really know what's going on um, I hope that all the testing I do tells me why I'm having issues at 24 years old I've never had children I'm not currently pregnant um, I've never smoked I've like drank in my life but not like I've never been drunk and I've never well let me stop <laughs> I am a very good child of God I don't do a lot of things but anyway I feel like I'm a pretty pretty healthy person um, a friend of mine told me sometimes you can have health issues that you were born with that don't really present till you're older which I feel like when you get older things start to change in your body and things happen I mean health issues do not discriminate on age I don't know why I hate when people say you're too young to have heart issues you're too young to be tired um, I'm a human being and I work a full-time job taking care of old people that's mentally and physically exhausting so excuse me that I'm tired I don't even remember what my point was. All I know is, <sighs> I don't know what's going on. I think I'm okay. I really feel like I'm fine, but I don't want to like jinx it. So I've really been trying to make sure I take all of the precautions I need to take. But I, other than the fact that I was premature as a baby, I was five weeks early and I was in the NICU for like a whole week and I was struggling. And the only thing that I really have struggled with growing up is I was diagnosed with ADHD and a learning disability and I've only had mental deficits so nothing physical that I am aware of so I don't know hopefully this doesn't turn into anything but you just never know but I'm going to end this vlog for tonight and then I'm gonna pick it up again on Thursday morning when I get up bright and early for my orientation for school so I'll see you guys then so I look a hot mess but me and my mom just came back to my apartment to make sure we got everything. It's empty. Ooh, I don't like this. I just gotta get my curtain. Empty. Yeah, I gotta get my washer and dryer, but I'm probably gonna put it on the curb. Did you want your curtains? Mm, not really. So yeah, just have to take the thing with the holes. You still gotta get things unlocked. It's Wednesday night. Today I went to my apartment. I have a little clip of it, and it was my last time being there. So it's not my apartment anymore. So I can stop saying my apartment, but. I got my deposit back from my landlord. I got all the things that I needed to get out out today. It's cleaned, it's done. It's not mine anymore. I said goodbye to the landlord. I said goodbye to my apartment. And it was really sad. Orientation for school is tomorrow morning. So I'm getting ready to get ready for bed, but I wanted to show you guys a few things that I purchased today. I have an obsession with athletic shorts now. So I bought me a pink pair today and this like beige peach they're like really cool material they're like almost like holographic whatever you call that like oil spill type look walmart always has a deal on these shorts so i got me a pair two pairs got a new skincare brand to try and i actually just got done washing my face I look a lot more red in the camera than I do. I look super fat in the camera too. <laughs> so I got this new skincare brand called ITK, which is Brooklyn and Bailey, if you know who they are. Their skincare brand. And I am always down to try a new skincare brand because I struggle very firsthand with acne. You know, 
it's not I'm not foreign to acne so when I heard they were coming out with a skincare line I already use heritage which is their mom's hair care line the thing I use the most is the curl cream it's called like a head of the curl and I use it for my curls I love it actually I really love it actually I don't have one right now because I used it all but I'm trying Brooklyn and Bailey's skincare line which I trust it because Bailey I mean Brooklyn went to esthetician school and she's like learned all the things one thing I love is a facial mist and this is the mist it treats um, acne and then I got the moisturizer and the cleanser I did not get the sunscreen or the pimple patches things they have just because I'll pick up some more later on but I just wanted the basics for now to test it and then now I'm gonna show you maybe not there's only one working light bulb oh my gosh you guys probably cannot see this but I bought a new laptop for school today with my deposit from my landlord <sighs> I really need a new laptop I needed it for school because for orientation they said to bring a fully charged laptop and my laptop my MacBook from like 2012 is just behind I really don't know why I have it except for I was afraid it wasn't gonna work for school because a, uh, something a program I can't speak a program I had to use for my entrance exam would not work on my laptop so I was scrambling trying to find somebody's laptop to borrow for that and so I'm scared that for school it wasn't gonna work so I'm so glad I got my deposit back today the day before orientation so I have a laptop I got an HP laptop because that's the one the school provides but I did not get one from the school because it would have been too much added to my financial aid like that I would have to pay but I'm getting ready to get ready for bed. I have, I still have my little device on. And I was a little nervous to wear it out in public today. I didn't want people staring at me, but nobody really... I didn't feel like anybody was staring at me, but I also wasn't paying attention. So, <sighs> anyway, <laughs> that's it for now. And I will come on here tomorrow and update you guys on how orientation went. Right now I need to clean my room because it is a disaster. I put up these lights around my room. Oh, and those vine lights, which I thought were broke, but they work. I have so much going on in here right now because I'm still moving and I'm packing. There's a lot going on. And then there's a the cat. Luckily, I'm not dying from allergies yet. So, yeah, but that's it for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. So, I had an orientation today for school, and it went pretty good. It was supposed to be from 9 to 5, but it, we actually got out around, like, 30 ish I came home with like 101 books I got my scrubs which fit me really good I'm really excited about I went shopping well how to get shoes for school so I got my new laptop which you can kind of see it better in this view and then in orientation they were telling us that we have to have plain white shoes and they have to like they can be tennis shoes but they have to be like shell like they can't have any mesh or any openings in them obviously because we're working with bodily fluids needles things like that and you know like the basic like nursing like hard shell shoes I was trying to find those but I couldn't find any today so I ended up finding oh I almost fell off the bed I ended up finding these which are like they're like filas well they're not like filas they are and I got these hopefully these work I mean they should be bad because they said anything that they even said nikes were fun as long as they were a hard shell like this girl had forces on she's like you can wear those i'm not wearing nike forces to nursing school so my feet can fall off when i get home so i got these then i also bought something so if you're an anime person this is for you so i bought this naruto little purse thingy so what's cool about this is you p you put like your collector's pins. There's like a little thing that you put in here that you can put your pins on. Or like anything and you can collect them. And there's one that already came in. I can't tell what that is. I just sat and stared at it forever and I can't decide what it is. But the strap says Naruto Shippuden on it which looks so good. Which I'm not even finished with the first Naruto so. But these don't even look like them in Shippuden. These literally look like them from the beginning of Naruto, but I guess it doesn't matter. But it's so cute. I feel like the colors are always, like, Naruto's colors are, like, blue, orange, yellow, black, whatever. But I love when they kind of, like, go outside of the colors, make it more feminine. And I thought this was, like, so cute. It's almost like Hinata's colors. So. Got it at this store box lunch. And then I also got, this is the character from Demon Slayer. I can never remember her name but I love this character and she's kind of like known for like butterflies and stuff 
and this is a strawberry air freshener. I already have like a million anime air fresheners in my car, so. And then I got this Nezuko pen. They had a t-shirt there that said Exploding Blood, which is her power, which was a lot cheaper than this bag, but I seen this bag and it was over. Because I have enough t-shirts, I have enough things like that. I also got this sweater at Burlington. It's super soft. And what I like about these type of sweaters is you can wear it as like a cardigan with like a cropped tank top underneath, or you can wear it like clothes like this. It's super soft and super cute. And my, my, me and my sister got the same one. She found it first and then we were both obsessed with it. So I had to find me one. And the last thing I got today was this Halloween scrub top because we can wear scrub tops at work. Well, obviously we can wear scrub tops because that's what we are. We can wear themed scrub tops for holidays. We just have to pay a dollar um, to wear them on Fridays. The, the dollar gets donated to the Alzheimer's Foundation. So that's all I got today. Orientation went good, uh, like I said, and it's like almost seven and I just got home for the day. I'm super tired. I need to go on my laptop and figure some things out for school, but I think I'm going to come home and do it tomorrow after work because I'm just pooped out for the day. So. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been a long day. I can't speak. I'll see you guys tomorrow. No, you will not see me tomorrow. I don't know when you'll see me next. I don't know even what I'm saying. Peace.